Assalamu alaikum students. I hope that you are doing well and enjoying your e-lessons as well as Zoom classes and doing your assignments with responsibility. Now let's move towards our next assignment. Assignment 16 Novel Matilda Chapter 18, 19, 20 and 21 Assalamu alaikum dear students, how are you doing? I am sure you will be in the best of your health and you must be completing your home tasks too. Okay, today we are going to do the novel and I am sure you are interested in knowing that what is going to happen. This is the end of our novel, right? So today we are going to finish our novel. So let's start with the sight words. So you know that you have to repeat the sight words after me. Cautious, pondered, cigar, ethereal, concentrating, fiercely, colossal, exhausted, reassemble, breaches, smoke, exceptionally, scowling, Triumphant, impertinent, flustered, strides, hysterical, hovering, strangled, sensational, prostrate, amuse, Georgian, sodiester, Frustration, theory, perched, frantically, crimson, scurrying, stone. All right. So in previous class, we learned that Matilda possesses a power with which she can move the object. She also goes with Miss Honey to her cottage and learns a lot about Miss Honey's poor life and eventually comes to know who is responsible for her miseries. Okay students, so you must have done the reading. I'll explain the text and the events that took place in the particular chapters. So let's start with chapter 18. The name. Matilda is blown away by the news that Miss Trunchbull is Miss Honey's aunt. This explains everything. And oh goodness, is this woman evil? Doesn't it make you sad to hear Miss Honey say that Miss Trunchbull was even worse in private life than she is at school? How could it be worse than what we have already seen? After a change of subject, Miss Honey asks if Matilda wants to practice her magic powers. But Matilda says no, that she should go home. On the way, Matilda asks Miss Honey three final questions. What is Miss Honey's first name or what she used to be called at her home? Second question was, what did her aunt call her father? Third question was, what did her father call her aunt? Staying open and honest, Miss Honey tells Matilda, but she has no clue what Matilda will do with such strange information. Matilda just thanks her and the two parts ways. That's the end of chapter 18. These are the questions from chapter 18. What secret did Miss Honey have about Miss Trunchbull? What events led up to Miss Trunchbull playing an important role in Miss Honey? In Miss Honey's childhood? How did Miss Honey get away from Miss Trunchbull? How does Miss Honey get enough food to eat? Now we will move towards our next chapter. This is chapter 19 and the name of the chapter is The Practice. At home Matilda has the place to herself which is perfect for what she wants. She borrows one of her dad's cigar and shuts herself in her room. 
What she is doing has something to do with helping Miss Honey, but we don't know the specifics yet. Matilda makes a little space for the cigar and sets to work concentrating on her special mental parts to make it move. The movement's even easier this time and the cigar moves quickly, so Matilda challenges herself more. She wants to pick up the cigar with her mind. This is a lot harder than pushing it. She has to work really hard. After all, as anybody who's ever attempted telekinesis knows, it takes serious effort. After a while, Matilda picks the cigar up just a little. Just for a moment, she keeps doing it. Eventually, she can keep it in the air for 60 seconds. She's that awesome. But this is hard work. It wipes her out and she falls asleep just like that. Her mom has to wake her up for dinner. She kept on doing it. She works on moving the cigar with her mind. Pretty soon, she is excellent at moving the cigar in swirls and loops through the air. She decides she is ready. Now, question from chapter 19. You only have one question. What did Matilda practice in her room? Chapter 20, The Third Miracle. It just so happens that the day Matilda's plan is ready is also the day Miss Trunchbull sits in on Miss Honey's class gown. Before Miss Trunchbull arrives, Miss Honey cautions her class about behavior. She reminds them of the previous week and checks in with the students who had the hardest time, like Eric, Rupert, and Nigel. After lunch, Miss Trunchbull comes in as scary as ever. She checks her water glass right off the bat and says that any bad behavior will be met with really strict punishments. Then she moves on to the map problems, which spells instant doom for her first victim. Sure enough, she calls on a poor kid named Wilfred and says he should recite three times table backwards. Wilfred can't and Miss Honey doesn't think he should have to. What Miss Honey thinks doesn't matter though, and Miss Trunchbull continues torturing Wilfred with more math problems. They are technically multiplying, but they sound like adding. Wilfred is totally confused and can't do it. The Trunchbull, furious, yells at him, picks him up by his foot and starts shaking him. She's just screaming the right answers when Nickel interrupts her, and this interruption is pretty important. Nickel yells that the chalk is moving independently. Even Miss Trunchbull looks at it. The chalk starts writing on the board. It writes Agatha. This freaks Miss Trunchbull out completely and totally. Then the chalk keeps writing saying it's Magnus. Miss Honey sees that Matilda is lit up with special energy. The chalk keeps going, instructing Agatha to return the house and money to Jenny. Then it says Magnus is watching her and will get her if she doesn't obey. Everybody else is confused, but Miss Trunchbull struggles for air and falls over in a dead faint. Taking the initiative, Nigel dumps the whole pitcher of water on the Trunchbull's head while other kids go to get help. In contrast, Matilda doesn't move, but exults in how amazing she feels and how glorious moving the chalk felt. Other adults come in, including the Martin, who is like a nurse, and other teachers. The teachers joke about how Miss Trunchbull got what she deserved, and the Martin shushes them, makes them quiet. Miss Trunchbull is removed and Miss Honey gives her class extra recess. As the students are leaving, Miss Honey and Miss and Matilda embraces each other. Now we move towards our question answers. We have only one question. What happened to the chalkboard that frightened Miss Trunchbull? Now we move towards our last chapter of the novel, which is A New Home. 
Apparently, when Miss Transport wakes up, she walks right out of the school and doesn't come back. Mr. Tribal... Trilby? Trilby? Trilby. Mr. Trilby. Mr. Trilby, another teacher at school, calls her and then goes to her house. He discovers it's abandoned and Miss Trunchbull's personal things have disappeared. The following day, some lawyers send Miss Honey a letter. It explains that her father's will appeared. Miss Honey gets back the family house and all her father's money. She can move back to her own house now. A few weeks later, Miss Honey is settled back into her nice family house. Matilda comes over every day to hang out. In the meantime, Mr. Tribe Mr. Trelby got promoted to head teacher and Matilda got to skip several grades. Now she is in the highest level at school, being challenged and doing really well. Time passes. On one of their after school tea meetings, Matilda tells Miss Honey that she can't move things with her eyes anymore. Her ability seems to have gone away. Miss Honey explains that it isn't surprising. She thinks that the whole reason Matilda had powers in the first place was that she wasn't being challenged and her brain had too much extra juice. It had to go somewhere. Now though her brain is being challenged and there is not all that extra stuff left over all of the time. They leave Matilda doesn't want to linger on the topic. She changes the subject and talks about how different animals' hearts beat at all sorts of different rates. They have a wonderful chat and both of them seem really happy. There are two peas in a pod. At dinner time, Matilda has to leave to go home. When she gets there, something weird is happening. Her parents are packing all their stuff up. There is a getaway car outside. Mr. Wormwood says they are leaving for Spain, like right now, and she better get ready. When Matilda protests, her father shuts her up. Matilda races back to Miss Honey's and explains. To Matilda's shock, Miss Honey doesn't seem shocked. What's going on? Miss Honey explains to Matilda that her father is a criminal who flips stolen cars for real. That's Matilda's reaction, even though she knows about her father's special sales techniques. The next thing that happens is a no-brainer. Matilda immediately says she wants to stay and live with Miss Honey. Although this sounds like something they would both like, Miss Honey is hesitant until Matilda suggests that her parents might agree. Wasting no time, the two races back to Matilda's family house. There, the Wormwoods are ready about finished loading the car. After Matilda shouts out the new plan and asks her parents to let her stay, Miss Honey asks for their permission. The Wormwoods show their usual lack of care for Matilda. They don't mind giving up their daughter one bit. As Matilda's old family drives away, Matilda and Miss Honey hug. They're a new family at last. That's the end of our novel. Now we have questions from chapter 21. Question 1. What happened to Miss Honey as a result of Matilda's powers? Question 2. What did the Wormwoods leave town? Question 2. Why did the Wormwoods leave town for so suddenly? Question 3. What happened to Matilda when her family left the town? Alright, the homework. As you know, the questions, they are given at the end of each chapter. So you have to do all the questions according to the video. Okay students, that's the end of our novel and of our video today. I will see you inshallah in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself and your family. Stay home, stay safe and stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.